Hey guys, happy Sunday. I took a 200 mile round trip to Aldi today in Pflugerville, Texas, and I picked up about $200 worth of stuff. So 200 miles for $200. And then I also stopped at Trader Joe's on the way, picked up a few things and spent about $60 there. So it was quite an expensive morning, but I had fun looking at all the new stuff for the fall stuff. There wasn't a whole lot. I was a bit disappointed, but anyway, this is what $200 will get you today. I got some Big Dippers tortilla chips and some protein red pepper hummus wraps, some bacon habanero pretzel slims, some kettle chips, Cuban sandwich flavored, some protein bars, the peanut, dark chocolate, and almond. Uh, my first full item, pumpkin cranberry artisan crisp. That sounds really good. Double baked artisan crisp made with cranberries, pumpkin, flax seeds, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Yum, yum. I thought I'd try these Elevation. They are nuts and sea salt with dark chocolate nut bars. I picked these up for my friend who saw I was there and asked me to pick these up. The apple cider donut cream cookies. I got three bottles of wine, two of their $2.95 wines. I got a Cabernet and a Shiraz. And then I got this Malbec, which was like $4.99. Two packages of taco seasoning, some hard salami for sandwiches. Not much in the frozen section this week, so I didn't get a whole lot. That was disappointing. But I did get this chickpea ravioli, smoked gouda and poblano, or gouda as we say in England. Speaking of England, got this cheese which comes from cage aged cheddar comes from Somerset, which is where my parents don't live far from. So I have been to Cheddar Gorge myself in my youth. Um, so this looks darn good. I'm a bit of a cheese head. Shredded gowder is how you would say it. Gowder. <laughs> and some Havati and dill. Ooh, stuffed baby Bella mushrooms, artichoke, spinach, and cheese. Those look delicious. Got some guacamole singles, and I picked up one small piece of salmon for myself, and some 50 calorie, no pulp, orange juice. Got another of their spreadable Irish butter, as, as it's a little cheaper than Kerrygold. This is the best cheese ever, this aged, reserved New York white cheddar. It is the bomb, baby. Got some coconut cashew crisps in chocolate flavor. Uh, I got this last time, uh, and this was really good, a smoked, smoked Gouda. Everybody say it with me. Gouda, not Gouda. I've been to Gouda in France, and that's how they say it. <laughs> but anyway, I'm not going to get in a fight about it. I'm just going to say it the way I say it. Smoked Gouda macaroni and cheese. Oh, more Gouda. I can say it again. Some Gouda cheese cubes. Also got extra sharp white cheddar cheese cubes. I wonder if this is the same as this, because that is going to be delicious to eat, but not on the thighs. No, no, no. But my thighs will have to deal with it. This is really good too, the cranberry white cheddar. And all these cheeses do last till like December or January. So I could save them for Christmas unless I make another 200 mile round trip before Christmas, which I probably will. I did open these in the car. They are bacon and cheddar wavy potato chips. Yum. They were pretty good. These were new items. I love a good curry. So these, this is a green curry rice noodle soup and a red curry red rice noodle soup. Rice noodle soup with spicy red curry flavors and with spicy green curry flavors. What do you know? Bacon. Thought I'd try Mr. Mark Wahlberger's hot dogs. There he is. Uncured beef hot dogs. Look pretty good. I love a good hot dog. Two packets of croutons, cheese and garlic, and Caesar. Some peppercorn brown rice crackers sounded good. Thought I would try this coffee dry rub. Mm -mm. And sweet and sour stir fry sauce. Another full item, pumpkin and butternut squash pasta sauce. Yummy, yummy. And then I did get one pumpkin yogurt. I do not like pumpkin spice, but I like pumpkin. So I'm hoping it's not too pumpkin spicy. So we shall see. A jar of turkey gravy. Mmm, caramel apple coffee. Yummy, yum, yum. Some dark chocolate peanut butter protein bars. And then just picked up a small pack of pork chops for $4.17. And a small steak. This was 
561. Uh, let's see. Some mini chocolate chip cookies and some mini alphabet cookies. You get 12 in a, pow in a pack. I do love their grapefruit, sparkling pink grapefruit drink. And then I also got some mini brownies and mini muffins. And then I was sm smelling all the candles in there. And I have to say, I nearly threw up a couple of times. There are some in there that are just horrible. I mean, I was like, eh, 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 eh. anyway, these are the three I could stomach. The pumpkin cream cookie, which isn't very spicy, which is pumpkin spicy, which is good. I got an apple Prosecco. And then this one, surprisingly, was good. Green tea and bergamot, which I don't know what bergamot is, but it smelled okay, so I took it. And then the last few items are over here because I didn't have room over there. Always pick up the snack combo for my kids. And then I got this berry keeper which is a two pack, it was $8.99, so try and keep our fruit or vegetables, it doesn't have to be fruit, uh, fresher so we don't throw so much away. And then my friend also asked me to pick up this two, four, six, eight, ten wick candle, and it's salted orchid and driftwood. Mmm, it smells okay. It was 20 bucks. I don't know. I like, that would take a long time to burn. I like to kind of mix my flavors and smells out. Anyway, that's 200 bucks at Aldi. And here is a very small haul from Trader Joe's, which was $60. Oh, my goodness. But the good thing is my pups, this one right here, she's waiting for her pumpkin cookie. I say it like that, and they get all excited, but they may have forgotten about it. But anyway, I was so glad to see the pumpkin cookies back at Trader Joe's. I got two boxes because my dogs love them, and I love saying it. Shall I say it again, Lily? Do you want a pumpkin cookie? Yeah, there you go. Get some all excited. Yeah, in a minute, I'll open it. I got some autumnal, is that how you say that? Autumnal harvest creamy pasta sauce. That sounded good. This is my all-time favorite ravioli, the ricotta and lemon zest. I also got two candles at Trader Joe's. I am a candle hoarder. Anyway, I got the honey crisp apple. That smells real good. And the... Vanilla pumpkin. Not a big fan of vanilla, but eh, it was okay. I did get some flowers. We're going to go see my son's grandma today, so we're going to give her some flowers. My son loves these fruit frenzy bars, raspberry, lemon, and strawberry, and also some low-calorie lemonade. We do love the brioche hot dog buns, and then three bottles of wine. I got a Sauvignon Blanc, and this one's good, Epicuro. This is also good, Ox Tea. I recommend these two for sure if you're a red drinker, and that is is $60. And boom, now we got to put it all away. Say goodbye, Lily. Bye. See you next time. Bye, Harls. Bye, Harley. They're ready for their pumpkin cookie. So we'll catch you all next time. Bye.